Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to create this wavy facade in Revit. Let's get started. So I have my model open up here and I wanted to add a wavy facade from level 2 upwards. So to start, let's go to level 1. And here, we're going to add reference plane. I'm going to add one here, here, right here, and lastly at the end. I'm going to add a dimension. So this dimension is only going to use just to equal everything. So I can delete this afterwards. Then we're going to click the dimension and we're going to add a name. So I'm going to name this one. Two, three, four, and then five. So now that we have our reference plane here, we could go to our east elevation. So from our east elevation, we're going to model the waveform right here. So let's go to Massing Insight, click In Place Mass, press OK, and then we're going to click Model Line, click on the name here, and then choose Reference Plane 1, and then OK. Uh, make sure that you press the draw to work plane and then uncheck if you have checked this one 3d snapping then click on the line and start drawing so we're going to place lines here and like that and then after that we're going to click the spline and this will give the look the wavy look that we're looking for you can also click the spline and then you can double click them and then you can adjust the wave that you want like that so I'm happy with this next Click on line again. You can select plane number two right here. And then we're going to start with line again. So create this line right here. And then after that, switch to spline. Once you're happy with your design, you can then start with 
number three. So click line again, change your reference plane to number three, and then start creating your design. Switch to spline. Press escape, click your model again, change the reference plane, switch to spline. and then finish. Click the model line again, change your reference plane, change your spline, and then finish the design. So press escape. Once you're done, select everything and then create your form. So we could look at the 3D So before hitting finish, it's best that we select everything and then let's create the materials right here. So wood, press OK. And with that, and then click finish. Once you edit the type, you can now select different kinds of wood right here. So let's select that. So I'm gonna choose this for now. So now, as you can see, this is not the look that we're trying to do so so let's go to level two we're gonna add another reference plane this is for the wall void let's name this as void And then let's go to South Elevation. So this, this is our wavy wall facade that we created. And then we're gonna create some void forms in order to show the curtain wall or curtain window. So now let's click this wall facade that we created 
edit in place click this model line we're gonna set this to our reference play void and then that's gonna let's use rectangle for those voids select this and then click void form go to 3d use the tab make sure you just select the front face of this void and drag it outside like this also make sure to highlight only the back face of this void as well and then drag it up to the wall like so and then let's look at it at elevation we're going to copy this so copy and then remove the constraint and check multiple we're going to make this consistent so the spacing we're going to select it from here and then click finish click cancel on this and then let's look at it at 3d so once everything is done it will look like this thank you for watching and i hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below